Hey everyone and welcome to Create Chromatic Return. This mod re-adds the chromatic compound of new with loads of new automation, creative machinery, and also weapons and tools for you to take advantage of. You can see by this little display here, we've got the glow sabers, which are obviously Star Wars lightsaber references, charms, casting, and the tools themselves. And of course, the creative note at the final. Before we get into anything, we should be looking at the basic automation you're going to need to be able to make it in this mod, and also just stuff which makes life generally a lot easier which this mod adds so starting off with two essential farms we have the neverack farm neverack is easily farmed from cobblestone now you just crush it and crush it until you get to sand and then when you blast smelt it no and then when you blast wash it you have a chance to get clay and now with the clay balls you make yourself a clay block and with the mod neverack is now made from blast haunting clay so yes you can see we can go back it originates you also get clay here but it originates all the way back to cobblestone so this is now neverack is now fully automated you also you will you will also really need a lava farm this is just the vanilla create mod one with lava dripstone cauldron make it as big as you want have fluid pipes coming underneath it so you can pull it all out and yeah that's pretty simple i don't really need to explain that i don't think the main reason why you're going to want to automate neverack is so you, you can now get cinder flower infinitely this is good for blaze cakes because you're going to need a lot of superheated blaze burners and also you can get redstone dust gunpowder and glowstone dust from washing, smelting, and haunting. Really good just for getting bulk redstone or bulk gunpowder or whatever without having to worry about it. It really does help. And also being able to just make that blaze cakes really quickly helps as well, of course. Also, zinc and copper are both now automatable, just like gold and iron are. You can get copper from terracotta, which terracotta, similar to neverack, you get clay, but you smelt it this time. And then you have a chance to get yourself some terracotta copper from the terracotta. Zinc is automatable just by blast by mixing water with heat underneath it in the basin. You can that means now using this and this, you can get yourself brass automatic by combining these two, and then using your lava farm from earlier, you can pour lava onto the the brass ingot to make yourself a glowing ingot. This glowing ingot is useful for making chromatic compound, which is obviously a very important thing, which has been removed from Minecraft, which will be useful for this mod. And also, you can use it to automate Neverwrite scrap. The way you will make chromatic compound is with polished rose quartz, powdered obsidian, raw nugget, and a glowing ingot in a superheated basin and mixer. You can also actually automate Neverwrite using glowing ingots. It's only a 1% chance, but if you crush a glowing ingot, you have a chance to get yourself a Neverwrite scrap in there as well. And on top of this, loads of other useful automation stuff. It bridges with other add ons and also it bridges with mechanism. If we look at create chromatic return, there's stuff like polonium, plutonium, which are all used, which are all used to make mecha suits. So without the um mechanism generators add on, you can make mecha suits with this. So if you want like a create X me a mechanism experience where you can make the mecha suit, this is how you would do it. You would also need a mod like Crafts Edition, which converts rotational energy into Epi to power the few mechanism machines, but it means you don't need to do all the nuclear reactors and all that stuff. The main thing this adds is chromatic compound and free alloys for it. Refined radiance, shadow steel, and the multiply ingot, which is a new one which I've added. There will also be a fourth one, and maybe even more down the road in the next update, but at the moment these are the only three we got. Let's start off with shadow steel. It's probably the most diverse of them. It's one of the more simple to make. All you need is to get yourself a wood farm, smelt that to get yourself some charcoal, crush it down to get yourself carbon powder, that's one ingredient done, cobblestone, blast horn to get blackstone, polished blackstone, and that's it, that's all you need for shadows. Well I say that, but the way you make it is a bit complicated. What you also need to know is you're not going to get your shadow steel just from doing this, there is a process you have to go through. So we've got ourselves the blackstone and the carbon powder, if we fill it with lava from the lava farm we I told you guys you need to make, chuck the carbon or an input, input, mix it up. As you can see, it's making ourselves shadow essence. Now with this, this is where you can make shadow still, because what you're gonna need is you're gonna need 16 chromatic compound for one shadow still, as well as a thousand miller buckets. Right now we're on 400 as you can see on Jade. So what we're gonna want to do is just for the sake of this one, I'll show you how it's done. For the other, for the other alloys, I'm not going to bother.
here we go we got one bucket or 1000 miller buckets of the stuff so now all we need to do is get ourselves 16 chromatic compound from our chromatic compound farm or just from randomly making it if you're a psychopath and there we go we got ourselves the shadow stick main unique use for shadow still is your tool casting so what you can do is say let's get ourselves an iron sword it has to be iron uh, because that's what we use for casting on this you chuck your iron sword in there you chuck in eight of the thing your sword gets lost you have yourself a blade cast so now if we were to chuck the blade cast back in and then chuck ourselves a shadow still you keep the blade cast but you get yourself a shadow steel blade. This is an ingredient to make shadow steel swords, which you can use with different handles and stuff to switch them out. I'll show you the. Say we want to make ourselves a handle now. So we need to firstly make the cast. So you chuck in eight, but we'll just do the stack because I can't be bothered. You have yourself the handle cast. And now our choice at the moment is refined radiance or multiply. So what we'll do for this one is we'll use refined radiance, chuck the cast in, chuck the refined radiance, and we have ourselves the refined handle. If we look at this recipe, we are going to need two refined handles and two refined radiants and two blades. So let's say we've forged all of this in here. All we have to do now is get the handles, get the refined radiants, get the blades, chuck them down, and we have ourselves the sword. So this is a lot of work for one sword, obviously. You can reuse the cast, which is very nice. It means making new ones is a lot easier, but it does mean, as you can see, it says handle type radiant all mobs have a chance to drop chromatic compounds so this means whenever you kill a mob not a player you have a chance of dropping chromatic compound which is really nice you can swap this out with say multiply using a multiply handle instead and instead of killing mobs to get a chance to get chromatic compound it actually has a chance of giving you random minerals the pack sword will always drop from cobblestone or stone the sword will always have a chance of dropping from killing mobs so if you're mining and you want to get random minerals while you're strip mining you can use this so this is very tinkers construct inspired you can switch out the radiant in the handle for multiply to kind of give your weapon a completely different feel but at the end of the day they are all the same they can also be repaired with shadow steel they aren't unbreakable unfortunately but we will get to the unbreakable tool soon the last thing you can use shadow steel for is creative flower crush down some shadow steel with a crusher you have a chance to get shadow steel powder with multiply you can get yourself creative flower and then you can make yourself a creative blaze cake if we have a look creative blaze cake you will need a refined mechanism and a regular blaze cake but when you're around this stage it shouldn't be too much of a big deal we will save the mechanisms for later because it's kind of an end game thing over here we got the refined radiance automation it's just cobblestone to sand blast haunt it for soul sand wash it to get quartz you want a regular quartz block and then you want to make it into a smooth quartz block and that's one step for refined radiance done you want a cobblestone farm Make Neverack, crush the Neverack for Cinderflower, Blast Haunt to get yourself Glowstone, and there you are, Refine Radiance, or at least the liquid version. Similar to the Shadow Steel, you want to get 1000 millibuckets of the Refine mix Mixture, it's called, and then you can get yourself 16 Chromatic Compound. First thing you're going to want to do with it is you can make Multiply with Refine Radiance, which is how you make Multiply. You need yourself 16 Refine Radiance, 8 Dragon's Breath, and 8 Shulker Shells just for one Multiplying it. Now, Multiply is used to make every single creative item, including the lightsabers we have on display here, which look fun. Before before we really delve into Multiply, let's quickly look at the mechanisms here. The mechanisms are an upgrade on the precision mechanisms. You have to basically put them through a process. I'll show you how it works. So you start off with the precision mechanism, 16 shadow steel. You mix that to get the shadow mechanism. Pour lava on to get your magmatic. Pour water on to get annealed. And then the refined mechanism, some refined radius on top, and you have that. The refined mechanism along with neverite and also multiply is used to make yourself creative motors and also the blaze cake the filling to any creative item in this so if we're going to make the creative motor it's quite a big recipe as you can see we're going to go for it as you can see there's neverite in a little shape like this refined mechanisms in the middle a shaft multiply ingots shaft in the bottom and a rotational speed control on the top as you can see it goes down it crafts and we got ourselves a creative motor so this can be used in survival mode it's infinite power as i'm sure you know and yeah it's really easy to use and really nice it's expensive but it's worth it definitely on top of this you can make stuff like the creative blaze cake as you've seen with this refined mechanism 
the creative filler tank which is from create stuff additions is another add-on with loads of really cool tools and stuff this basically always will infinitely fill your tools and this is a creative crate you can't get this because that'd be broken but there is the creative generator recipe as well from create crafts editions before we get onto the cool looking glow sabers let's quickly look at these charms because they're also really good and i just wanted to do it in this order okay don't judge me charms are just made with similar to tool forging you make yourself a charm cast which is just a, a, a nugget and a shadow steel ingot and then all you need to do is get yourself a glowing ingot, a never ingot, and a never star. So pretty expensive to make yourself a charm base. And now with the charm base, you just need 16 of the alloy of your choice to make yourself a charm. And each one has its own special effects. The shadow charm gives you strength free. The radiant, the refined charm gives you speed free and haste free. And the multiply charm gives you creative flight, but also weakness and mining fatigue. So let's quickly just make these up. You do it in a press just like so. And now we've got these charms, all you've got to do is put it in your offhand slot. We will go into survival for this. As you can see, we know ourselves strength free. Take it out, no longer have strength free. Here we go, speed free, haste free. We can mine pretty fast. And we got ourselves multiply charm as well here, which is the highlight. It gives us creative flight, which is crazy. Also, we are mining very slow and we're going to do no damage to mobs with weakness free. So yeah, very OP and a way to get creative flight in create mod is always very nice. I don't mind that. The final thing, which I'm sure is the glowy thing, which made you look at the video out in the first few seconds, is the Radiant Glow Saber and the Radiant Glow Claws. You want to start off making the Radiant Glow Saber. You need Cyber Plating, which is made from crushing Shadow Steel into a plating cast. 12 of them, which means you need 12 times 4, which is 48 <laughs> Shadow Steel already. A refined mechanism, which is another 16 Shadow Steel, and another, is another 16 refined Radiant on top of that. Multiply Tube which is four multiply ingots, which is a stack of refined radiance right there as well, and two extra refined radiance on top to finish the saber. So it's a very expensive recipe. We'll make it just for the sake of arguments. Check this all into the crafter like so. It will craft down and you get yourself the glow saber. So as you can see, these are very expensive, like a jewel build dumb will look awesome. It doesn't really gain anything from it, but it looks cool. But the main reason you would do this is because these are by far the best tools in the game. You'll probably get on any mod pack. Let's summon ourselves a zombie. It one hits, you know, but to be fair, it could just be a high damage sword that happens, you know. Let's summon ourselves something big. Let's summon ourselves something like an iron golem, okay. Here we go, we got ourselves an iron golem. 100 health, gone. Now, this is the main best thing about this. This one hits, and on top of that, it never runs out of durability. So, it's an unbreakable... One hit everything sword, except for players. But for players, you can click very quick, and it still is a 14 damage sword, which is still better than any other vanilla Minecraft sword. But let's say this isn't enough for you. Let's say you want to make yourself the glow claws. The glow claws work the same as the sword, so they will one hit any mob. But also, they will one hit any block as well. So these are incredibly OP tools. And as you can see, no durability lost. These are unbreakable. You right click with the block, it removes it without dropping anything. You can actually replace, you can actually remove bedrock from the bottom of the world, the top of the world, if you want easy access as well. And I think eventually, down the road, one of the alloys is going to involve mining bedrock with a right click. So it's only going to get more and more in depth from here. But how do you make the Radiant Glow Claws? Obviously, it's expensive. You actually need two glow sabers, two refined mechanisms, two more cyber platings, and four more refined radiance. Again, let's just make it for the sake of it. Why not? And let's make this up. Cyber plating down here, refined mechanism here, four refined radiance, the last one. Bam. And as you can see, radiant glow claws. I hope you like this video. A nice little display of the chromatic return mod I've made. I'm really proud of it. Tons of stuff to do now, especially with the addition, especially with the addition of charms and the proper addition of multiply and all that stuff. It's really a fleshed out, really fun mod now to add tons of stuff to do at the end of your create mod playthrough. You can even add this onto an existing create world because all it does is add recipes essentially and the items which come from those recipes. There's no extra generation or any stuff like that. It's literally just I think you can add on at any time when you're bored to create. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.